While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Because when you keep the commandments, right, that's what you're supposed to do as Israelites. Because now you know that you're Israelites, right? So now God is requiring you to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. Because he knows that you know now. Right. So know, now that you know that you're Israelites, now you got to keep God's laws. Right. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I have commanded thee this day, for thy good. Read that from the top. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So now, Israel, you so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, read. But to fear the Lord. So, hey, so we got to fear the Lord. And that's the problem in our society. We don't fear the Lord. Right. Everybody thinks that Satan is, is, is uh, in charge of, of the society. God is the one that's in charge. Right. We don't fear God. That's why we don't keep his laws. Right. Read. To walk in all his ways. We got to walk in all his ways. Everything that this Bible says, we got to apply. We can't just hear it and then not do it. Right. Especially now that we, that we know that we're Israel. Read. To love him. We, we got to love him. How do we love God? Sis, do you know how we, how we love God? How, how do you show God that you love him? By, by praying? Praising his name every day. Praising his name? How, how do we, how do we, hey, hey brother, do you know how we uh, show God that we love him? Keep his commandments. We got we to what? Keep his, his commandments, right? Because we can't just and say that, oh, we love God or whatever, and when we pray, because when we pray, God is not hearing us. Why? Because we ain't keeping his, his law, statutes, and commandments. Let's prove that real quick. Go to uh, John 9 and 31. Because we're going to prove that the, the reason why a lot of our people don't care about God, they don't fear God, is because they, they're not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Because when you pray to God, he only going to hear you if you obey what this Bible is telling you to do. He ain't going to listen to you if you ain't doing nothing the Bible is telling you to do. Read that. This is the book of John, chapter 9 and verse 31. Now we know that God hears not sinners. So the Bible saying God is not hearing sinners. If you in sin, God is not hearing you. When you pray to him, he's not going to hear none of your prayers. Right. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God. So you have to be a worshiper of God. We're going to find out how do we worship God. Read. And does his will, him be here. Right. So the will of God is keeping his law, statutes, commandments. If you're not doing nothing this Bible saying, God ain't hear you. And that's what's wrong with our people. They think that God hear, hears them when they sin. When they just got done shooting somebody, God gonna hear them. When they just got done getting hot, God gonna hear them. That, and, and, that's, and that's what's wrong with our people. Because how, how God gonna hear you if you ain't doing nothing he said? Brother, you got, you got, you got kids? All right, so if your daughter don't, don't listen to nothing you say, does, does your daughter, does, does she love you or does she respect you? Exactly. And that's how God is. Because God see that we ain't keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. And he said, okay, well, since y'all ain't keeping my law, statutes, and commandments, I'm going to put judgment on y'all. Because right. he ain't going to hear nothing we saying. Right, right. That's why there's a lot of hatred uh, towards God, because they say when they pray to God, they didn't hear him. And they, cause this never stays, it, it stays the same. Because why? God ain't hear nothing you saying. Right? He ain't hear nothing you saying. And, and that's what the Christian church has taught our people, right. that, oh, God can hear you no matter what. Right. I just got done killing my brother, and, and God going to hear me. Right. It that God can go, uh, he going to hear everything we stand because uh, uh, just believe. And, that, and that's what the Christian church has taught our people. All we got to do is just believe. Right. Go ahead. As white. See, 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 they cover the faces of the judges. Read that. Uh, first Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. So the book of the law, brother. So you know what the book of the law is? Not the book of the law. What is the book of the law? 
No, the book of the law is this Bible. That's the book of the law. Read. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their image. So the heathen, everybody that's not on the 12 tribe chart, that's the heathen. They, they cover the faces of everybody in this Bible. So when you look on Google and you type in Christ, it's always the white man. It's all, it, when you type in Job, all that, it's the white man. You look at the movies, it's the white man depicting themselves as being the people of this Bible. Because they understand that if we wake up to the fact that this, that this Bible pertains to us, then, then we're going to wake up and come back to God's laws. They don't want that. Because this is their kingdom. The wicked is this, this is the wicked kingdom right now. The book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not where, and who is he? So, read that again. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. The wicked owns this earth. Read. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. Hey, so he covers the faces of the judges thereof. Hey, brother, brother with the hat on, the red hat. You know who the wicked is today? In society, who is the wicked today? Who is, who, what, what race of people is the devil today? Is, is the white man, right? Okay, read. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. So that's what the white man has done, the wicked. He has covered the faces of the judges thereof. Because he understands that if we know this Bible is for us, that we'll wake up. We'll wake up out of this captivity. Hey, brother, you know today, that right now, we in captivity today? Did you know that? You know that, right? And let's prove that to everybody. Sister, you know today we in captivity? Hey, sis, right there with the uh, mask. Hey, sis, with the mask. You know today we in captivity today? We in captivity? Uh, let's bring that out. Ruth 3 and 8. So we, we're going to show you today that we are today in captivity. Because a lot of our people don't, but most of our people don't know that. They think that we free. How are we free? And we got to give all our bills, everything that, that we worked so hard for to another nation people who hate and despise us. Right? Read that. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. Read that again. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. It says, behold, the Bible said, behold, we are yet this day in captivity. Right. So we're not free. Just because you make six figures a, a, a year don't mean that you're free. Just because you, you make millions, you ain't free. They, they call LeBron James a, a, a nigga. He, he makes, what, 70, 80 millions a year? They wrote nigga on his... On his uh, on his house. So how how can you be free and you as rich as LeBron James and they still calling you a nigga? Just like JC says, still a nigga. Read that. Where they thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. So we are scattered all over the world for a curse and a reproach. A reproach. Why? Because we broke God's laws and He put us in captivity because we don't obey Him. All these other nations, they, they, they talk down on us, calling us niggas, calling us fix, calling us wetbacks, all these, calling us African American, calling us black. They do that to our face, and we don't know that when they call us black, African in Amer African American, they're disrespecting us to our face. To our face. And our people don't pick up on that. Why? Because they're not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. They don't have the spiritual eye to see the disrespect that these nations call us to our faith, calling us black, calling us African American. Words that's not even in this Bible. And they understand that because they know that black people, Latino people, we don't read. Because all the other nations, they know we're the children of Israel, but we don't. We're the only people that don't know who, who we are. The, the, the Chinese man, he knows that he's from China, that he's Chinese, right? The Japanese man, he, he knows he's J Japanese from Japan. But what of Israel, we don't know. Read. For a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. So we are subject to payments, brother. Do you know that we are subject to payments? Hey, man, I know that every day, though. I know that every day. Because, because you know, when you work hard, you work what? 40, 50, 60 hours a day, uh, a week? 
Hey, I can give you some examples while we while we owe payments every day. Getting bonded out of jail. Yeah. Getting bonded out of whatever uh, cage that you locked in. Exactly. But what? But whatever, whatever you do, whatever payments you got, you got to you got to give it to the white man. Your your, your phone bill. Your phone bill, your rent, your car note, all that's this, right? That's true. But I don't pay to get out of jail. You gotta pay for everything. Everything. Go ahead. My question for y'all is: You're reading out of a Bible that a white man wrote. The white man. So how do you know that the white man wrote this Bible? King James. King James is a black man. Right. King James is a black man. See, that's the thing. They want you to think that this Bible is a white man's book. So King James is the same one that wrote the book about the devil? Cause, cause think about it. Let's let's go to Revelation 1 and 14. Cause think about it. Cause think about it. If, if, if the white man wrote the Bible, right? Why would he put the color of Christ, the true color of Christ in here? So we just brought out earlier that they cover the faces of the judges up there. Uh, I mean, when you look in go Google, when you type up Google the white uh the, the uh Christ of God, it, it always comes up the white man. So why in the Bible would it be description of a black man in here if the white man wrote it? But well, why wouldn't it if we we were subjected to not being able to read and write and all of that? So why wouldn't they put that in here? Because they wouldn't expect us to actually read it. But yeah, everybody in this Bible is black. So why would the no, white I'm man saying, write? I'm not saying it's not. Mm -hmm. It's just I, I thought. Okay, read that. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Oh, so this Bible is not in private interpretation. It's not whatever you read this Bible and you think that this is, okay, what the Bible says in terms of what you think. Because in the Christian church, right, they say that what? That uh, Christ is white, King James is white, that everybody is white. Right. That's what the Christian church tells us. So that's their that's their private interpretation of what this Bible says. And they have deceived us to believe the same thing. That's why you came to me and said that, because why? The Christian church has told us lies and said that everything pertains to the Bible, whether, whether they uh, wrote it or in it, is white. You see what I'm saying? Continue to read. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. So this Bible is not from the will of man. This is the will of God. Because ancient men, great mighty men, wrote this this Bible. The, the the Lord put the spirit on these mighty great men to right. read to, to write this Bible. Man? Black men to write this Bible. Okay. I got the spirit of the Lord is is was on them to write this Bible. Right. So then we can understand that this Bible is for us and right. no no other nation. They br exactly the brothers don't see the brothers right. Continue continue to read. Right, continue to read. But holy men of God. Holy men of God. In order for you to be holy, you got to be what? Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. You can't be a nigga, calling yourself a nigga, and, and writing this Bible. You got to be keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. That means that the, the brothers that wrote this book, they know who they were. Right. That's why they wrote this book, and that's why they say they holy men. Right? Read. But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. They were moved by the Holy Ghost. Let's, let's prove what the Holy Ghost is. This is the book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 51. Uh -huh. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did, so do ye. Verse 53, who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. But, but ye being full of the Holy Ghost, look up steadfastly unto heaven and saw the glory of God. Verse 51, and ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart. So it says stiff-necked. You so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, we are stiff-necked. We don't want to do nothing that this Bible is telling us to do. We are stiff-necked people. And we are uncircumcised because we don't want to keep God's laws. We want to do the laws of the white men. We want to keep Christmas. We want to keep uh, 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 Thanksgiving. Right. We want to celebrate our birthdays. All these things that's not in the Bible. Read. And I'm circumcised in heart and ears. Uh -huh. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. We always resist the Holy Ghost. We always resist God's laws. We tell we tell our people, hey sister, come out of those pans. They don't want to do that. We tell our people, stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. They don't want to do that. Right. We tell our people to come out of those churches. They don't want to do that. They want to do what they want to do. They lean on their own understanding. They don't want to do nothing that this Bible tells us to do. Read. 
Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. We always resist the Holy Ghost. Read. As your fathers did, so do ye. So the Holy Ghost is God's law, statutes, and commandments. Our forefathers, they disobeyed God's law, and we're doing it today. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.